Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to reading for the week of April 15th or something like that. I don't know. It's in the title. Uh, you have this strategy card. It says, becoming more strategic to succeed in the long term. Look at your current goals and imagine what obstacles may appear. You have a celebration card. There will be a celebration in relation to your work. I definitely feel that uh, work is going to be improving for Aquarius and also like the way that you make money is going to be improving as well. So, you know, for example, if you've been doing something that you don't want to do to make money, I mean, it literally shows up right here. It, you could be ending a job or, you know, a business that you don't enjoy and going to something that you do enjoy, which is literally what I was going to say. So right there, I think that for a lot of you, there could be some uh, big improvements in the way that you also present yourself to the world. We know this already, uh, Pluto in your sign, you know, again, uh, especially after November, when it officially moves into your sign, you are going to have a lot of opportunities, I believe, to be glowing. But I also do feel that you have to like take those opportunities with the sun card. So I would, you know, uh, make sure that you're, if there are opportunities for you to like stand out or for you to like take extra work at work or, um, you know, to go above and beyond or whatever the case may be, uh, I would do it because I think that there could be a lot of success for you. You literally have this lighthouse card says, you're a light that can't be hidden. So don't even try to, uh, don't ever try to dim it for anyone. So it's clearly, it is time for you to glow here, Aquarius. It's time for you to get attention. These two, this kind of flipped over there. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, we're gonna take them together, why not? Uh, you have the sun, the 10 of swords and the 10 of, Ten of Pentacles. It's kind of weird. I'm getting something here on this card about you coming to terms with something. Like those are the words that I'm getting on the, the Sun card. The Sun card can bring a great deal of clarity into our life, of course. But you know, the words that I'm getting are that you're like coming to terms with something. Maybe you're finally accepting, uh, you know, a truth in your life is kind of what I get here with the Sun card. Or you're finally accepting a reality for what it is. The Sun is obvious. It shines a light on something in our life. Uh, you know, I, I always look at the Sun as a spotlight because it shines usually when we get it in a reading it's kind it kind of is like shining a light on something that we need to pay attention to it's a very good card best card in the tarot and it makes the whole entire reading more positive but um what i would say is i feel like you're accepting some sort of reality it's interesting you have this false ca person card karmic card and this dagger card so maybe you're realizing that a past person or a person that you're dealing with is like kind of a karmic energy or is a, a toxic energy i wouldn't really worry about it again it's a very you know it's a very good reading and again i always say i don't do kim kardashian tarot right i don't do a uh, drama tarot here it does look like there's a little drama here i'll say that but um you know again it kind of looks to me like maybe you're getting clarity on someone who is toxic or you know, you're seeing that someone's toxic. You do have the 10 of swords. You have this dagger card. They both kind of represent getting stabbed in the back. So for some of you, maybe you are seeing a person who stabbed you in the back or you're understanding like why a person stabbed you in the back or like what was really going on here. And in a weird way, you know, personally, I like the 10 of swords. Uh, yeah, he's been stabbed in the back or he, you know, it kind of represents victimhood or victim mentality or reaching rock bottom. Uh, but personally, I read all 10s in the tarot as positive. The 10 of swords is the end. He he is dead. And, you know, really the, the only way is up from the 10 of swords. So I feel for a lot of you, and he's even, you know, I'll say this, he's even making a symbol right here with his hand that represents uh, a blessing. So for a lot lot of you, I feel like you really could be receiving blessings or receiving a blessing uh, in your life, you know, after being stabbed in the back or uh, again, the blessing could be that you're avoiding someone who has done this to you. Uh, you have the 10 of pentacles. I felt it right at the beginning of the reading. You have that celebration card. And again, I think that the celebration is maybe because you're doing something that you actually want to do. So for those of you that are like working for looking for a job or a career or something to work on, I feel like you're discovering something that you want to be doing. It's like you're discovering something that leads to more, that leads to fulfillment or leads to more success in your life. And I feel like that's where this is going. And, you know, so I, I kind of feel, you know, it makes sense to me is what I would say, that you would be discovering something in work or business that could be uh, very successful for you. I also feel like you need to stop worrying about money because, again, I feel some of you could be worried about money, but really it looks like you could be improving your finances in some way. Uh, with the sun card, you have the ten of swords. <laughs> uh, like I said, I, you know, I knew that the sun was trying to get attention or, you know, I knew that the sun was 
trying to expose something here. So something's been exposed. I kind of feel like this has already happened. It's coming up in your first row. The first row I read as your current general energies, but I also read it as the past. I use what I call a loose spread. So I basically do past, present, future, outcome. Uh, and that, but that's not even the, the whole entire spread, right? I do past, present, future, outcome, but I also do you know general, unexpected, uh, what's coming towards you, and then the good stuff at the end. So um, you know I kind of put it all together in my head. And what I would say here is that uh, that's showing up in the past position, which really tells me something has already happened. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, are you kidding? Death. I've literally said this guy is dead <laughs> on this card. So I feel like you're transforming past this situation. With the Queen uh, Ten of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. That tells me that you're really going for something. Um, you know, again, m maybe you have been through something and this has caused you to like boss up a little bit or maybe it's caused you to realize that you need to take control of your reality. Right next to it, sorry to keep switching, but right next to it, you have the Chariot. The chariot is a card of hard control. The chariot represents like really taking control of the reins and making something happen in your life. So I kind of, and, and not only that, you go up to the Wheel of Fortune as well. And the Wheel of Fortune is also a card of control. So, and, uh, sorry, I'm just dropping the entire deck here, but, um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune kind of represents needing to take control of your reality uh, or, or needing to do something to take control of your reality. And I feel like that's what you're doing with all these, you know, with all this coming up here. There's a lot going on. <laughs> uh, you have this uh, Hand of Fate card. This is coming up in the area of the unexpected. It says forces beyond your control intervene. You have this dagger. It says conflict and danger line wait. I don't think there's conflict or danger. I think that this is really saying that maybe someone stabbed you in the back and uh, now it's been exposed, like who that person is or what happened. I feel that fate clearly has kind of entered into the chat here because we have the Wheel of Fortune as well, which is the card card of like fate or your destiny. And so for a lot of you, it's like maybe there are, you know, something happened in the past or in the recent past. It could have to do with control as well because you have the Emperor in the chariot. Uh, this could be a person with the Emperor. So there could have been a person who was trying to control your life or, you know, but, but it's like, here's the thing though, Aquarius, is that people can control our lives without you know, without seeming like they are controlling our lives, right? It's like, how many times have you, um, you know, it's like, I think that, you know, one of the big things that I think all of us need to learn to avoid is like, people aren't necessarily like bad people when they do this. But, you know, I think sometimes if you tell someone like, oh, I want to start a business, they might say something like, oh, that's dangerous or risky or whatever. And it's like, they're not trying to be a jerk. Maybe they're trying to help. Maybe they think they're protecting you for, from, you know, danger or something like that, right? But they are controlling our lives because, you know, how many times have you said something to someone, has someone said something to you and then you don't do it, right? Because of what they said, <laughs> even though, you probably should have done whatever you said you wanted to do, right? So I kind of feel like some of you, uh, in a weird way, I feel this row is saying that you are like, it, it's not like you're no longer listening to people. I, I feel like you're still listening to people, but I feel like you're more, just more listening to yourself. Let's put it that way. And in a weird way, I feel like you're taking back control. Some of you could have been dealing with an Aries as well who was controlling. Uh, you have the Five of Cups. This could have led to certain regrets or you could have certain regrets right now about things that you didn't do or, you know, things that you didn't act upon. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm a Pisces. So, you know, Pisces, it, you know, it, this is like classic Pisces energy, which is kind of funny as well. Cause like Pisces are notorious for um, just like letting people tell them what to do more or less. And so like, I, I understand this type of regret, like regretting, you know, I regret. So there are things I don't really have regrets, but there are things I regret not doing uh, because people basically said, you know, don't do this, even though I should have. Right. And I, but the, the beautiful thing about the reading is this right here. Again, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which says you have the power to create the turnaround, right? You have the power to turn your situation around, even if there are things you regret not doing or uh, even if there are things that you regret not moving towards or whatever the case may be. Uh, the Chariot really is about setting yourself apart and becoming your own person. And this makes a lot of sense. Again, you know, Pluto in your sign uh, in November, it definitely could be you learning how to kind of like be your own person. I really do like Pluto and Aquarius just in general. I think that Pluto and Capricorn was it was much more challenging, right? Uh, when Pluto's in Capricorn, it's as close to Earth as it possibly can be. You know, Pluto has a highly elliptical orbit, so it comes into it comes into Capricorn. It's like very, very you know close. It's still extremely far away, but it's you know close to Earth. And you know, when it enters into Aquarius, it's on its way out of you know uh, away from the Earth. And so that's like the first thing. 
Uh, the, the second thing is for you, I think that it will be a really good time for you to get positive attention, really good time for you to take control of your life and reinvent yourself with the chariot even in, in the sense that you could be kind of like, you know, doing things on your own, you know, or moving in your own ways, right? And that's what I feel like you're doing here with the uh, chariot. So that looks pretty good to me. But let's see what's going on here. Uh, with the Emperor, you have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a person that couldn't let go of you or a situation. Uh, this could also be a false sense of security as well as what I'm getting. A very weird reading, Aquarius. I'm not going to lie. Like, the, the the messages I'm getting are not, are like not very much related to the cards. And the Four of Pentacles, but I kind of feel like there has been maybe a false sense of security in your life or something that provided you with a false sense of security. And by the way, this is not a bad reading at all. Like, I know maybe what the things I'm saying sound bad or whatever, but it's not. I think that you are moving away from these things, like I said. And with the Five of Cups, you have the Lovers. I do, like, if you are if you are going to be attracting love, I feel it's probably new love, of course. Uh, there could be a person who is rushing into your life here. I would, of course, be careful if it's a past person. Uh, you could have certain regrets in love or a person uh, could have, you know, that you dealt with could have certain regrets in love. It is interesting that you have the Wheel of Fortune with the Judgment card. I mean, literally, these are the only two cards I consider to represent an ex coming back. Of course, I always like to say, I tell everyone, don't go back to an ex. So I am definitely not telling you to go back to your ex, right? But, you know, these are the two cards that I would consider that, um, you know, where I would consider that to be an energy here. I would definitely be careful because, I mean, you have this karmic cycle card and this false person card. So, I like, I wouldn't be repeating any cycles with a person. And, you know, I would be careful of that energy as well based off this reading. Uh, with the chariot, you have a six of wands. Yeah, there's definitely, like, a vi victories coming in for you. I really feel it's time for you to focus on yourself. <laughs> like, if you're thinking about going back to the past and, and stuff like that, it's like, I think the universe is saying there are victories and wins and successes, you know, that are about to come in for you. And, you know, I feel the universe is kind of encouraging you to focus on those wins and not necessarily, you know, being with a person or whatever the case may be. So I kind of feel that right here uh, with this energy. And that's what I would really um, pay attention to with the chariot and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you, but I feel like you need to like focus on it. Uh, you have this karmic cycle card. It says repeated pattern, situations, lessons, uh, not for you, red flags, blah, blah, blah. It says false person, false person or situation, frenemies, lies, um, betrayal. I think that you have dealt with that. Like, it, But again, I think this is more the energy that I was talking about, about you know people telling you to do things with your life. And this isn't the energy of what's coming towards you, by the way. And, you know, I, I, I don't really feel this is coming towards you, but I do feel there are going to be moments where th where you really need to tell yourself to listen to yourself. Like, you n know things that are better. I, th I think that also the Five of Cups could, in a weird way, represent situations where you trusted people, where they said, like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, or they, you know, kind of controlled your life in some way. And I, I want to remind you that this is not something that has to be super dramatic, or this is not saying these are evil people or anything like that, right? It, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, but what I am saying is that maybe, you know, I, I think that the realization that I see going on here for you, Aquarius, is that you are realizing that most of the people who tell you to do things, they, ha they have no, they have no clue what they're talking about. And again, these might not be bad people. I'm not saying you have to cut these people out or whatever. You know, we all have to experience this in life. And again, as a Pisces, I've experienced ton of tons of this in my life where it's like, they're just not, you know, the people, they people want to help us. And again, sometimes the advice they're giving isn't helpful, but not only that, it's like, they don't know what we know. So again, I think what you're realizing is that maybe some of the advice you've taken in life is coming from people who aren't even educated on what you are have been thinking about doing. So it's like they're telling you what to do, but they don't even know what they're talking about. And you know, I kind of feel like you're t in a, in a uh, kind of like in a sense here, you are taking your power back. And I really feel that's what this reading is saying. It's a pretty simple reading. I mean, I know that sounds complex, but I think it's pretty simple. I feel really good about it because yeah, maybe it's been uncomfortable, uh, but at the, you know, kind of like feeling like you've missed out on things or whatever. But at the same time, uh, again, I think this is strengthening you and uh, teaching you. It has taught you a lot, right? You have the Knight of Swords. I would be careful of a past person or anything like that rushing back into your life here. Um, you know, I think a new person would be great for you. But I would be careful of repeating any karmic cycles. Again, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. So if you meet a person that's rushing into your life and they remind you of an ex for whatever reason, or they do, you know, similar things, there's probably a reason for it. So, you know, I, as I've been saying to you for like two years now, um, at least Aquarius, I would trust the evidence. I think Aquarius is the number one sign that really needs to like, you know, be kind of like whenever you're doing like pause, 
look at the situation that you're about to enter into and like look at the evidence. What does the evidence say? And, you know, is there evidence that, you know, a person is who they say they are, right? Or are they a completely a liar, right? <laughs> um, is, is there evidence that you're really going to enjoy the job that you're about to get? I think those moments of just taking a pause and looking at things will really help. You have the Wheel of Fortune. A Wheel of Fortune is, of course, a change in your fortunes. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is your destiny as well. And we see a lot of stuff about kind of like karma and destiny and the Wheel of Fortune is karmic. So again, I would be careful of repeating a, you know, a karmic cycle. The thing about the Wheel of Fortune is that most people just allow the wheel to spin. The wheel is always spinning in all of our lives, but we get to choose the direction if we choose to choose the direction. So we can do that with our vibrations, being in alignment with what we want, but also we need to pay attention to cycles. If, you know, again, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. So I would pay attention with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you have the Judgment card here. In a lot of ways, I feel this is more of the energy of you leaving something behind. These people are standing in these coffins. Inside the coffin is their old life. Outside the coffin is their new life. And they need to step into their new life and leave the past behind, really. So I feel for a lot of you, there is like a lot of growth going on here. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Cups. I think there's new love coming in for you here. Uh, you know, this looks pr pretty good for something new. Ten of Cups is happy home, happy family, you know, being in, getting into a really solid connection. So I do feel that there could be a solid connection coming in for you. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, like some sort of wish fulfillment. And Nine of Cups is my card of alignment. It says you need to be in alignment with the energy of what you desire in your life. So you have to kind of like match energy with the Nine of Cups. You, meaning that, you know, if you want love, you have to be in the energy of love. If you want money, you have to be in the energy of money, right? So that's what I would do here with this energy. Uh, with the Judgment card, you have the Knight of Swords. No, I would be careful of someone rushing in from the past, for sure. <laughs> Mercury retrograde, we're getting close to the end of the retrograde as well this week, you know, closer and closer. And the end of the retrograde is always like, you know, the beginning and end are always the strongest. So it makes sense that this could be happening, but you know, I would I, I would definitely avoid it or I would be careful uh, with this energy. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this lighthouse card. It says, you're a light that can't be hidden, so don't ever try to dim it for anyone. Like I said, I think that you dim, when you don't do the things that you, you are thinking about doing because of something someone says, you're dimming your light. You have this choose a path card. It says, there are many paths before you, but you may only choose one. So we have the four of wands. I'll show you in a minute. That was the first card where the queen of pentacles also flipped out. And the four of wands, you know, can represent marriage, sure, and, you know, all that other stuff. But the four of wands really is a path card. You know, the four of wands, there is a, these people are celebrating on the other side of the four of wands. So it is a portal card. You have to complete one thing to step through the portal. And I do feel that some of you have the resources. You know, that queen of pentacles is like flipped over when I pulled the four of wands. The queen of pentacles is a resourcefulness card. It basically just says you have the resources necessary to be very successful. So like, again, if you're thinking about doing something and you're worried about like, will I have this? Will I have this or that or the other thing? The answer is yes, you will have everything you need with these cards if you just get started, right? So I would get moving here. You have the four cups. Uh, four cups is about having been disappointed with the offers that you've been receiving. But again, this is coming up in the good stuff. So I do feel that you could finally be getting an offer of whatever it is that you want. And I think that it's a really solid offer. So, I, you know, I would definitely move towards a new path here with this energy. I would also pick the path of adventure. You have the five of wands. Five of wands is conflict and competition. But, you know, I call this card Indiana Jones. To me, it's like a card of going on some sort of crazy adventure and not knowing like what the outcome is going to be. But really what you're heading towards is treasure. So I think that you need to you know, go on an adventure where you don't necessarily know the answers. Yes, <laughs> with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you have the Knight of Wands. If you want love, definitely could be a fire sign for sure. Um, but, you know, it could be any sign. This is a general reading. So it could be whatever you want. But I definitely feel that there could be a really solid uh, connection coming in for you. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the Seven of Wands. I think you need to protect your peace at this time, and I would protect your ideas as well. Again, I think the confusion starts for you, Aquarius, when you listen to what other people are saying about your life or about what you should be doing or whatever. And um, you know, again, I think you need to realize that other people don't necessarily know what you do. <laughs> so again, if you're asking people like, oh, should I start this business or should I date this person? They're, it's like they're only giving you advice from their perspective, but they, they might not have any clue what they're talking about. And really, I think that's the gist of the reading, right? 
With the five of wands, you have a five of wands. Yes, do the hard thing is what this is saying. Right? Like I feel like it's saying if you do the hard thing right now, and we're not talking about like hard, but I think that if you challenge yourself right now or you know do something to put yourself out there in the world, you are going to be successful. You have this bird perched. It says waiting for news package or letter. Uh, so again, some of you could be receiving news, news, uh, not nudes, as I just said. You have this uh, career card. The career card, I definitely see some sort of change in the way that you make money. Some of you could be leaving a job or you know uh, starting a new job or whatever. And I think that that will be very, very, very successful for you. You even have this card that says recognition reward for merit. So whatever you're working on is going to lead to a lot more success in your life and abundance for sure. You have a scissors card. It says disappointment in some affair. Yeah, probably whatever the stabbed in the back type of thing is <laughs> in the five of cups. I think that maybe there is something, like I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. There's clearly something that has maybe been difficult or hard to move past or has taken you a long time to move away from or release or whatever you wanna call it. And I don't know, I think you're getting there. You have this throne card. It says position of authority. This is all I would focus on if I were an Aquarius is you know, kind of getting into some sort of position of authority or being seen as an authority or, you know, something like, uh, you know, start learning something about, you know, how like being an authority of something, right? And plus also this whole entire reading basically says that you are you are taking authority over your own life. And I think if you do that, that's, that's the only thing you need to do with this reading. It's very simple. No need to overcomplicate it, right? That will lead to a victory. Looks uh, really interesting. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.